What's good, good team? It's your girl, it's your girl, it's your And it's your boy, Quan. It's a yellow one, unstoppable. And unbreakable. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back, y'all. So in today's video, we are going to show you guys what's in our hospital bag for labor and delivery. You guys, I'm literally 39 weeks tomorrow. And tell me why we just packed our we bags. We just packed. I ain't going to lie, we've been procrastinating for the longest. Yeah. But let me push y'all on to what made us pack today. So like, we just got done packing. So we was like, I right, we need to film this video. But last night, Brissa was getting like, heavy contraction, OD back to back, yeah. to the point where we were like a little scared and thinking that the baby might come last night. I thought it was time. I was like, wait, because the pain started like sharp, low, and then they entered my back, and I'm like, oh no, the back yeah. labor's starting. Like, I it thought was it was scary. time. <laughs> it was scary, and we like, wasn't man. packed, so we was like, no, tomorrow morning, we're definitely gonna make sure that we pack all our bags. Yeah so that whenever that happens, we're all set, so. Yeah, we definitely dragged it this time. I know you guys are like, you guys are crazy. Everyone was telling us like, why aren't you packed yet? What are you doing? Yeah. But yeah, so our bags are finally packed. As you guys know, we told y'all that last time we definitely overpacked. We tried to like not overpack this time, but somehow we still ended up with two carry-on suitcases, baby boy, baby bag, and a couple of other things, but we did pack less than yeah, last time. Definitely. So we're just gonna it's show you guys, bags. yeah. For daddy. That's all daddy's job. Daddy <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna show you guys what we decided to pack this time. I guess we can just hop right into it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, turn on post notifications, and let's get into these hospital bags. Let's right, start it off with baby boy's bag. So for baby boy's diaper bag, daddy decided that we should go with the Gucci bag this time. I think with Shine, we had a Burberry bag. Yeah. Truthfully, Kwan and I realized that it's easier using like backpack diaper bags. I actually don't prefer to like carry these because they just fall off. I would, your body. I would be the one carrying. He always carries these, Regardless. but yes. Yeah, so. I thought this diaper bag was mad nice. Yeah, it's Love nice. We could easily like wipe it off, and the material is really good, nice. And it's a good size. Good size, and I like that it's like a yeah. magnet. It's not like a strap or anything. Yeah. It's a magnet. Easy to get into. Mm -hmm. So we have blanket. Nice little fuzzy blanket for baby boy to keep him nice and warm. We packed this baby shusher. We loved using these with Shine. Remember his little monkey one? Yeah. This is a different one, but we just thought we would bring it for like the car ride in case we needed it to soothe him. It actually helps, like it actually works. Because mm -hmm. yeah. that used to put Shine to sleep. Yeah, they love it. It mm -hmm. keeps them really like calm. So we decided to pack that. Well, look how small these diapers are. So these are size one diapers. Yeah, so mommy decided to go straight to size one because I just felt like baby boy is gonna be big. Yeah, I was just like, where's the newborn diaper? Shine was in newborn diapers for like four days. <laughs> I just like really like, tiny. Yeah, and then the hospital will also have diapers, so like if we have to use the newborn ones while we're there. We we're trying to get up out of that hospital quick, so I was but like the size of diapers, they don't really like even when you go up in size, they don't be like a huge Yeah, diaper. just like one size, he'll be alright. So we decided to pack size one. So we got a receiving blanket, we have some birth cloths, we have a washcloth because Carl and I, we like to make washing sure our babies our baby. are washed up right I know away. The hospitals like to tell you not to wash your babies after the baby yeah. is born. To each his own. Like some people listen. Mm -hmm. We like to make sure that our baby's nice and clean. We don't want yeah. blood all over our baby or our baby, you know, get dirty for a couple they of They wipe them down, but I just feel like they need to be they clean. They don't thoroughly clean them. Yeah, like their yeah. eyes, their ears. Y'all see how we keep Sean. We make sure our baby's nice and clean at all times. I feel like so. they feel better though after they get that like first yeah, bath. Definitely. Like, like, they sleep sit in after birth for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, to each his own, I ain't judging yeah. anybody that does that because the doctors do tell you not to give your baby a bath for a mm -hmm. couple of days, but we like to keep our baby clean. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna wash them up. Okay, so we packed like two onesies. So These cute. are the newborn onesies, look at this. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that my baby's gonna be this little. It's insane. And then we have just like a couple little pants. We're obviously not gonna need all these clothes, but we'll keep them in here afterwards anyhow. So daddy wanted a pack. <laughs> you wanna show this? So we also have a Nike bib. Oh, I thought it was so cute. And like this Nike set, it mm -hmm. comes with a little hat, Nike hat, and a Nike onesie. <laughs> Get this. That is too cute. I wanna say this is size zero to three. So mm -hmm. maybe we'll see if he'll be able to fit this right away. I'm not sure. <laughs> wow, but. boy. Yeah, you know Quan, he wanted to make sure he had a cute little outfit. Of course. Off rip. I love these outfits too. Yeah, so we have this little, this is like a little newborn hat, so this will probably be what he's in. 
But you know what's crazy? I packed zero to three outfits as well because my mom said when I was born, I couldn't even fit the newborn outfits. I went right to zero to three because <laughs> I was that big. So I'm like, I don't know what size he'll be. So I'm like, we packed newborn and zero to three. And if you get mommy head, I don't know if this hat can fit his head. <laughs> you got if he has daddy's head, he could fit this hat. Shine had a tiny little head. Yeah, Shine had daddy head. Even the newborn hats were like not even tight on Shine's head, remember? Mm -hmm. But yeah, we had this little neutral outfit and it's cute, that little, little footy. Uh, sweatpants, super comfy with the matching hat. I love those colors. Me too. And then we packed this little Nike outfit. Nike oh. outfit. This is a newborn size, so we got this option. I don't know. We just packed them a whole bunch of outfits. Smack we don't know clothes. What we're gonna need. And then I packed two Nike pajamas as well, and that's a swaddle. And then we got the swaddle. Yes. These were our favorite, absolute favorite nighttime pajamas to put shine in because. They have like the mitts mm -hmm. already so on it. Scratch their face. Exactly. And just the material of them is really, really nice. And then it has like snaps in the back so you can easily change them. I really, really hope that he likes me in Swaddle. Yeah. I used to hate me in Swaddle. We're gonna try. <laughs> the Swaddle was nice too. The other Swaddle that we had was too difficult, like where you had to strap mm -hmm. it and stuff, so. This one's just zips yeah, up. Yeah, just zip it up. So we thought it might be easier, but yeah. We're gonna try and we'll Swaddle. See. This is supposedly for like eight pound to 13 pound babies, I guess, so. We'll see. I don't know if we'll fit it right away, but we want to try. We also just have on the sides wipes, all of like the body wash, just travel size stuff. Body wash, lotion. shampoo, lotion, and ball mix. There's a little tushy. And then over here, we got AD. AD works like magic yeah. on your baby's skin. If you don't know, I'm putting y'all on, this is like, like I said, magic. <laughs> and then over here, we have baby powder. Yeah, we like to powder our little baby's toes. <laughs> we love our baby smelling good. I know. I love the like newborn smell. And last but not least, we just packed like a couple of socks. We actually have Nike socks that match the outfit mm. that Kwan showed you. Two little white socks. We have an extra pair of mitts and we have a bib. Yep. And that's all for baby boy's diaper bag. Baby boy's diaper bag. I cannot wait. Yeah, I'm so excited. Is this making you excited, right? Yes, I'm like, I can't oh my wait gosh. to see my boy. Me neither. All right, moving on. I think we should do my bag next because. Yeah, we're gonna do Rissa's bag next because I already know like she's gonna it's... be going on and on. She, her bag <laughs> is literally full, like it could barely yeah. close. We were supposed to share a bag and then once I was like almost done, I'm like, yeah, babe, you gonna have to get your own I bag. I was just about to tell her, Rissa pretty much just dead me on my space in the bag so I had to get my own bag cause because by the time she was done packing, the bag could barely close. It's pretty much to the brim, but I'm gonna show you guys, okay? Right, let me get it. <laughs> All right, moving on to mommy's hospital bag. Mommy's bag. Okay, so I have these nice little organizer things. I used these same ones last time. I like to use these when I travel because it just keeps everything neat. So inside of here, we've got some leave-in conditioner for my hair. I don't know whether I'm gonna have my hair curly or <laughs> blown out. What? <laughs> That's the first thing that you show us up no, for your hair. I'm just, show, I'm just saying, this is like the personal care bag. Like I got my comb, I got the brush. This is not play about her hair. I got a headband in case I don't want my hair in my face. I have... Yes, he does. What? It's I'm just saying, else. that's just what was on top, okay? It's not most important to like least important. I've seen a lot of people saying this. What? They feel as if like social media made every woman self-conscious when they go into labor and stuff. Like they gotta look really? a certain way, yeah. I feel like when you like look good though, you feel better in the moment. For me, it you made me feel good. through that pain? Heck yeah. As long as my hair look good, I'm good. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> I want a headband in case I get hot. I gotta pull my hair back real quick, you know? Yeah. Rather just have it. And then it's not just in the moment, like afterwards. You might be there for a couple days, like you don't know what you're gonna be. Uh, now you was looking like a baddie. When you was in labor with Sean, so. Thank you. Anyways, <laughs> so I got this nipple butter. It's called Calm Your Nip Balm. I am going to be breastfeeding again, so this just really helps like those first few times it gets really raw and stuff, so yeah. And then I got some breastfeeding pads to put inside of like my maternity bras. I don't know how fast my milk supply is gonna come in this time, but we'll see. Well, wasn't your chest hurting you? The other day, nah, it's coming in. Yeah, I seen like the veins and stuff popping out of your. Yeah, this stuff. time it's like different. I don't know. I feel like it might come quicker this time. Definitely coming. And then I have two scrunchies and a clip. All right, so, so this is pretty much the hair bag. Yeah, this is like <laughs> the little stuff that you need, you know. Okay, this is essential as well. That's essential. For we got some Clorox disinfecting wipes. When we got into the hospital room, Juan and my mom went in and they bleached down everything. Not playing no games. <laughs> the bathroom, the beds, everything. Yeah, so. People be coming up in there with all types of sicknesses. Mm -hmm. You gotta be safe. Yeah, and I don't know, how, you don't know how good they clean it. Like, I'd rather us just clean it. 
This is also important. This is a baby briefcase. So we brought this with us with Shine because it just kept us organized. They give you a lot of paperwork when you're in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just nice like to keep all the important documents in here. I also have like all of my health records from the pregnancy in here, just in case they have any questions or like I'm in a lot of pain. Claw could just whip this out and be like, this is what happened, like, you know? Yeah. Just to be organized. I got this on Amazon, but you guys are probably gonna ask, so. Next. Right, your bag is crazy. I'm just looking at Riss's bag. She's not even <laughs> close to being done, like. No, I actually am though. Yeah, sure. Think about how much stuff you really need, like postpartum though. You need a lot of stuff, like in the moment and after. Okay, so I ended up buying the Freedom Mom kit again. In the Freedom Mom kit, it comes with like this uh, little nightgown that you could deliver it's nice. in. It's actually really nice. It's super comfortable. It has a snap so that after you deliver, you could just breastfeed. I love this. Remember? Mm -hmm. I was wearing this yeah. last time. It also comes with some labor and delivery socks. I wore these when I was delivering as well. They have like grips on the bottom. We got ice packs. Oh, I like ice packs. So oh my gosh. That. These are my saving grace, you guys. Yeah. These are such a relief. And I like these ones a lot because they're like really long. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they lasted a good like amount of time. I was gonna say that these are like jumbo size. Yeah, these are <laughs> these are jumbo size. <laughs> no, but you really Wait, did you get the packs for your feet though? For my feet. You don't remember you had the packs? It was like the socks that had the- Oh, I still have those. Yeah. yeah. I didn't bring those to the hospital though. Oh. Yeah. So also in the hospital, obviously they are gonna have like ice packs and stuff, but I like these specifically, but I am gonna make sure I stack up on their ice packs as well because oh, yeah. I used them for a while. Like, yeah. listen, all my moms out there, when you're in the hospital, stack up on everything they bring you. Like the pads, the diapers, everything, the ice packs, the spray, take it home with you, okay? I'm gonna be doing that. Okay, so in here, Basically, this is boy shorts. I just like these ones a lot because they're very comfortable on your stomach after you give birth and they hold the ice packs and the pads in place really nicely. We have the cooling pad liners. Oh my gosh, ladies. These, I feel like they're self-explanatory. They're just nice and cool and they just add relief if you put them like in your underwear after. Be hot. No, don't be hot, baby. Just, <laughs> yeah, just be like burning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then we have the healing foam. This is nice. You can just like spray down there, clean up, and I enjoyed it last time. Also, this Perry bottle. Let me show y'all this. I know I showed you last time. When the hospitals give you the Perry bottle, it's literally just like a little squirt bottle. This one has an angle. Fancy, fancy. Cause you could get out in there with this one, like, yeah. well, you know what I'm saying? A little team of but. I'm, I'm just, come on, yeah. you guys know what I'm saying. Like rather, picture like this just squirting up, but this one, you could pull it out and. It's cool. Interesting. <laughs> well, that's everything from the Freedom Mom kit. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> that's all clothes, y'all. This is clothes, and this, I think this is the clothes that, a couple outfits for like going home. I didn't know what I was gonna wanna wear because. You this, don't think you overpacked? That's mad clothes. It's really not that much, y'all. It just looks like a lot. So I decided to go shopping at Skims for my going home outfits. I got this pair of like yoga pants. I thought these would be so comfortable for after giving birth. And they feel nice. And like the bands, like for some reason after you give birth, you kind of want to feel like a little bit snug. Not to where it's tight and uncomfortable, but just like hold you in. So I thought these would be nice. So I got these with a little black tank top and this little zip up. Probably you won't need that because yeah, it depends how warm. Be hot. It might be warm that day, but you don't know what time we'll be leaving and stuff. So yeah, we don't know yet. And then I have this just like two-piece sweatpants outfit. This one might be a little hot, yeah, that's but cool. if it's cold in the hospital, I could also throw this on. And it's just gray sweats nice. and a white tank top to go underneath. Is that more clothes? <laughs> is that more clothes? This isn't okay. I'm gonna show you. It's like this. bras and stuff. Yeah, like stuff you need though. Okay, so I also have these flip flops for me to shower in. I would prefer to just wear these in the hospital when I take a shower, you know. And then I also got these little fuzzy slippers to wear in the hospital because it'd be cold in the hospital. It'd be cold up in there. Yeah, I got these on Amazon. These are the last items in my bag. I got this little pajama outfit. See, I told you I'm more clothes. It's pajamas though. This is gonna be so comfy. You're definitely not gonna wear all these outfits. I might. And okay. She was on me about overpacking too. Listen, I couldn't help it. It's just because like, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. We don't, don't know, know how long we might be there. Yeah, and then you don't know what's gonna We're be comfortable. We're hoping to be in and out like. I hope it's 24 day. hours like with Shine, but yeah. you never know. These are just pajamas. I got these from Skims. I have one maternity bra, a black one. I have one maternity tank top. I love those because it's just like snapping down, do your thing. I got a few pairs of socks, just ankle socks and then also tall socks. 
a nightgown. I feel like I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna definitely wear this. And then I also just packed this like neutral robe. Is that a robe? Yeah. Yeah, something else. Cause if I wanna walk going down the hallway. Okay, so yeah, that's everything in my hospital bag. I really think that I didn't do too bad. I packed less than last time. I wouldn't say you did bad, but you definitely did. You think I overpacked still? Overpacked. It's fine though. It's okay. I don't know. You guys, comment down below. You yeah. think I still overpacked? I mean, it's better to overpack than to pack less. Exactly. Just, just in case anything, so yeah. it's fine. I'd rather All have right. more than less. Now it's time for my hospital bag. My hospital bag is not as intricate as the rest is, of course. I'm not the one giving birth. No. And I made sure that I didn't pack too much. So let me show y'all what I got. All right, you guys. So now we're going to move on to my hospital bag. I'm going to go right here in the zip pocket. Let me just say, I packed this bag super nicely. Thank you. <laughs> and to start off, we got some pillowcases, which are very essential because, you know, I just want to lay outside comfortable, something clean. So I got two fresh pillowcases. <laughs> Come on, don't be Packs of pillows, too. <laughs> comfortable pillows. And some socks, some Nike socks. I also packed a bunch of black masks. This guy so I don't me. have to, like, get masks in the hospital. I got my own mask. He wanted to pack a whole stack of masks. I'm like, babe, what do we need these? It's like, I'm gonna have my own mask like, yeah. in the hospital. There's a lot of people that come in and out of there no, with sicknesses and stuff. I'd rather have my own. Yeah, he said when you walk in the hallways, he just has his own. Mm -hmm. You gonna wear it when I'm pushing? I mean, last time we did, but that was like around COVID time, so I don't know. It depends. If I don't have to, then I'm probably not. But okay. I should keep it on just in case I get a little nauseous looking at what's going on. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so got some boxes. Oh, you showing the ladies the boxes? Yeah, the Ralph Lauren boxes, something yeah. like. White beaters. Then I also have my pajama pants. Tommy Hilfiger pajama pants. So I can be nice and comfortable when I'm sleeping. On that hard rock couch. Yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> Trying to sleep in a hospital, very uncomfortable. The couch is mad uncomfortable. It's mad cold in there. Let me not even really get into that. It's, it's just very uncomfortable. Poor dad. <laughs> yeah. Got a couple of tees, Zara t shirts. I'm not gonna lie, I might have to get some long sleeve tees because last time, it was like perfect that I had long sleeve tees because it was really, really cold in there. Oh, you did have long sleeves? Yeah, I had long sure. sleeves, so I might have to pack mm -hmm. some long sleeves. It was colder though, it was November. But the hospital was well, the always, hospital cold. always cold. Yeah. It's probably even colder now. Would it be a nice outside? They have to keep it cold because yeah. of the bacteria and stuff. I know, so it's probably even colder in the hospital now. Yeah. And then I only packed one outfit. It's a Lanvin Gallery Department collab sweatsuit. Mad comfortable, so. That's your going home fit? That's my going there, going home fit. <laughs> Call I mean, me I'm an outfit, so yeah. It's like my favorite, it's just mad comfortable. Okay. And then our toiletry bag, side of hair. Oh yeah, I had to throw all of our stuff in the closet. bag. It's like a body wash, soap, eye drops. We got okay. some deodorant, lotion, solution for my contacts, mouthwash, toothpaste, toothbrush. Q-tips, uh, face lotion, like literally everything that we need. Everything that we need. And last but not least, some slides, Nike slides for when I go shower and just walking around in the hospital. So I don't have to wear sneakers all the time and that's about it. Yes. That is my hospital bag. You see how quick that was? What do you need? You ain't pushing no baby out. You don't even need a bag. Instead of daddy. <laughs> I might pack an extra outfit and some long sleeves because my bag is looking too light. Actually, the long sleeves might not be a bad idea. Okay, so there is one more thing that Quan is gonna be grabbing for me or we're going to the hospital. And that like is- Like last time. Yeah, same thing as last time. Cool look. That is my cooler for my placenta because I am encapsulating it again. You better take all those capsules this time around because last time I carried this heavy cooler, <laughs> you know, we kept the placenta in there and all that just for Rissa to not Take this is not that heavy. So this is the cooler. She got me doing it again. Yeah, I got to doing it again. Pretty much. And inside of it is just like ice packs and a little like tin to put the placenta in basically. And then I just ship it out. Oh, day. another thing that was annoying. Last time this wasn't fully closing. Oh yeah. Yo, we did it, it wrong. Just, yeah. We did it wrong. It was not fully closed, so it was just very annoying. Because my placenta was mad big, I was yeah, trying to tell you. Was humongous. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> but all right, we're gonna do this again. Hopefully this time we're so yeah. All right, you guys. So we have everything by the front door, ready to go for whenever baby boy is ready to make his way into this world. Last thing daddy has to do, he just needs to put the car seat into the car, and we're all set. So that's everything that daddy is going to be grabbing for us the day of, and we're super we're excited. We're ready. Beyond ready. Bags I'm are packed. Baby boy. Excited for his arrival. Me too. And I just can't wait to see us as a family of four now. I know. 
know, I'm so crazy. I'm so excited for like what's to come in these next few weeks. It's gonna be so life changing and we're just really excited. We're excited to share with you guys also. But that completes what's in our hospital bag. We hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next little video. Love y'all. Love you guys. Peace.